Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I am coming at you with my July favorites. I can't believe that we are over halfway through this year. It has flown by. I am so incredibly excited about my favorites for the month of July. I have so many WW food favorites. I have beauty, home, lifestyle, a little bit of everything, and I can't wait to share them with you. So if you're excited for another favorites video, give this one a big, huge thumbs up. It definitely lets me know to keep putting out these monthly favorites. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend taking advantage of this service. That way you know what you should be consuming every day to hit your goals. If you would love to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely after this video, head over and join us there. Such a wonderful community that would love to have you. So let's jump in to my July favorites. always, we're going to start out with my WW food favorites, and I'm going to start out with the items that belong in my refrigerator or freezer so I can get them back in there. My first item is the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip from Trader Joe's. As you can see, this is almost gone, and no, this is not a new item to Trader Joe's, but this is a refresh item for me. I haven't purchased this in so long, and I kind of picked it up on a whim, and I love this dip. I forgot how incredibly delicious this dip is. It is low calorie. It is low point. My favorite way to eat this is either spread into celery on a wrap as my condiment. So that way you can avoid adding points for mayonnaise or cheese. You just spread a little bit of this dip on there and it serves as a really good condiment or to dip crackers into. A little bit later in today's food favorites, I will show you some crackers that I've been loving, especially with this dip. So if you have a Trader Joe's in your area, pick it up, you won't be sorry. The next item also comes from Trader Joe's and this is a new to me product. These are their chicken spring rolls and it says white meat chicken with basil, garlic, and ginger. These are so good. This is the second box that I've purchased in the last couple of weeks. I pop these into my air fryer and they are such a great snack or meal or side dish. They're really, really delicious. They're low calorie, low point, and it gives you that whole Chinese food vibe without being fried in grease. Next up are the good, food avocado mash four pack. So these are actually little individual cups of avocado mash or guacamole. One thing I don't love about these types of products is generally there's more than one serving in the little cup. So it can be a little bit frustrating that you can't eat the whole cup as one serving. Now this particular one is it is one serving per container. It is 90 calories per cup. So I like that it is just the one serving portion and the flavor is so good. This is my fave on the go guacamole. I buy these from Imperfect Foods. I've actually never seen these in my regular grocery store, but I will link Imperfect Foods down below for you guys with $20 off your first order. No minimum purchase. If you're interested in helping prevent food waste, I pick these up every time I place an Imperfect Foods order. Next are the Rosemary Crackers from Trader Joe's. Now this is a new Trader Joe's product, but these are the crackers I love to dip in that spinach and kale dip. And this is my second bag of these crackers as well. I didn't know if Troy would like these, but he actually really likes these. They're so crunchy and flavorful and delicious, and you actually get 12 crackers for 140 calories or four points, so not bad at all. I don't usually even eat 12, usually between eight and 10 for my couple tablespoons of dip, but these crackers, while they're at Trader Joe's, pick them up, they are so good. Next up is a new release from Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. You guys know this is my favorite sweetener alternative. This is empty because I put this in my little sweetener container in my pantry, but this is their organic monk fruit sweetener with your 
erythritol. So the ingredients are organic erythritol, organic monk fruit. So everything in here is organic. It's their traditional blend that they use in their monk fruit products. But this one, for some reason, just tastes a lot better. I don't know if it's because it's sourced from organic ingredients, but I really, really like this. This is a brand new product on the Lakanto website. I will link this down below, and I do have 15% off of any order on Lakanto's website. In fact, I'm going to share with you next another Lakanto product from their website that I'm loving, and that is their Lakanto maple syrup. Now, you guys know I do not eat sugar-free, or I try to avoid it at most costs. This is a sugar-free syrup, but this is sweetened with their monk fruit sweetener, so it isn't sugar-free syrup with caramel coloring that you buy in the grocery store. This one actually has good ingredients. So this says purified water, tapioca fiber, chicory root, inulin, potato starch. It does have natural flavor. That's the one thing I don't love. Sea salt, monk fruit extract, fruit juice for coloring, and natural citrus extract for preservative. So no caramel coloring in this, and it still has that nice golden syrup. Look, this tastes incredible. It's so good that I ordered two of the big bottles off of their website. So this will also be part of the Lakanto website, including the 15% off discount. In fact, last month I shared their cinnamon maple syrup with you. I just reordered two more bottles of that as well. I just love their syrup. Oh, and I didn't mention, but this is two tablespoons for 25 calories. So way less calories, way less sugar than traditional maple syrup, way less points, and it is so good. Next is the Primal Kitchen. Hawaiian barbecue sauce. I don't eat the G Hughes because they don't have the best ingredients and they use Splenda or sucralose as their sweetener, which I also try to avoid. So when I saw this on the Thrive Market, that's another place you guys know that I order from a lot. They have really healthy options at affordable prices. I'll link Thrive down below for you too. But I did order quite a big box and added this Hawaiian barbecue sauce. This has only 30 calories and two tablespoons. So yes, it has a little more calories than G hues, but the ingredients in this are so, so good. This is such a good barbecue sauce. It's sweet. It's savory. You get those pineapple notes. I love this. Even Troy likes this. And he is not a big barbecue sauce person in general because he generally thinks that they're too sweet, but he actually likes this one. So next time I do another Thrive order, I'll be adding some more of these to my cart and you can't go wrong with the Primal Kitchen brand. Next up is the brand new amazing flavor from Verb Energy. This is the chocolate peanut butter cup bars. I cannot tell you how much I love these bars. These literally taste like a no-bake cookie. I ordered these because they were a new flavor from Verb. This is the size of the bar. They're 90 calories, three points, and they have 65 milligrams of caffeine in them, which is the same amount of caffeine that's in a shot of espresso. So when I saw that they had a chocolate peanut butter bar, of course I had to order it. You guys, I'm not joking when I say that this tastes exactly like a no-bake cookie. Fresh from the bakery, loaded with sugar, calories, points, no-bake cookie cookie. These are amazing. This is my all-time favorite verb bar. Even the texture is no-bake cookie. They are so delicious. I love these as a snack, pre-workout especially because it gives you that little bit of caffeine to help make it through your workout. I, I, I don't know how Verb does it, but every time they come out with a new bar, I love it more and more and more. So I'll link Verb down below for you. They generally have a really good special to try out a single flavor bag, and then they always throw in four or five extra bars of different flavors for you to try for free with your order. So I will link Verb down below with whatever current promotion that they have for you, but get this chocolate peanut butter cup. If you love no-bake bars, ah, chef's kiss. My next food favorite are these little good bites in the coconut brownie. Now I also ordered these from the Thrive Market. I've never seen these before. So when I was scrolling through their organic healthy section and I saw these, I had to get them. There are six of the little bites per bag. They are 60 calories a piece. And here's the ingredients in these, you guys. They taste like a coconut brownie. They're so delicious. So it has organic coconut flakes, organic cacao powder, organic maple syrup, organic coconut oil, Himalayan pink salt, and organic pure vanilla extract. That's all that's in these. And like I said, they're 60 calories a piece. Here is what they look like. So they kind of look like, again, a no-bake cookie, like a little ball of no-bake cookie. But they are so delicious. They have that perfect amount of sweetness that they make a really good sweet treat if you're craving something sweet or for your nightly dessert. And you can't beat the calories, points, and the ingredients of these 
10 out of 10. And my last WW food favorite also comes from Thrive Market. Now I'm a big jerky meat stick eater because it's a really good way for low calories and points to get in your protein for the day. So when I saw this Turkey Jerky Original Flavor Thrive brand, I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. It was affordable and there are actually two servings in this package, but I eat the whole package when I eat it. This is the best turkey jerky I've ever had. It's soft, it's flavorful, it doesn't have any weird texture or taste to it. It is so incredibly good. It is a 90 calories per serving and it has 11 grams per serving. So when I eat this entire bag, I have 22 grams of protein for only 180 calories. Love this jerky. They had a lot of flavors. They had sweet, spicy, peppered. They had just a ton of variety. So now that I know how much I love it, I'm going to be picking up tons and tons of this jerky with my next Thrive order. And again, I will leave the Thrive Market down below. They do have a 25% off your order plus a free gift when you join the Thrive Market. So that'll be down below for you guys as well. So now let's jump into a few home favorites. So I have three items to share with you guys today, starting with my water glass. So in a cup, a few months back, I featured these Brewmate water tumblers or alcohol tumblers whatever you want to use it for in my favorites video and I have been loving my black leopard one you guys see me have that in most videos what I eat in a days when I'm on my zoom calls that is my water cup of choice well I was finding that I was putting that in the dishwasher, washing it, and then being sad when I wanted to fill it up the next day and it was still in the dishwasher. So I decided to go ahead and invest in a second water cup. I love the plastic lid of these. They are stainless steel lined. These are a dupe, so to speak, for the Yeti. They keep your drinks hot, cold for hours. I can put water in here and it will stay cold all day long. So what I do is I take my gallon jug that stays in my refrigerator all day because I like my water really cold and I fill up my tumbler throughout the day. And when my gallon's gone, I know that I've drank my gallon of water, but I'm every time I fill it up, the water's nice and cold and it stays cold. So you can see that I'm drinking out of this one today. There are tons of colors, designs, and patterns, and these are much more affordable than the Yeti. And I feel like equally as good. So also from Brewmate, I decided to pick up a big water bottle with the drinkable lid and the holder here to carry the bottle with you. What I was finding is I would take my big gallon jug of water with me to Jazzercise so that I could take my pre-workout, drink water during my workout, drink water after my workout, but my water wasn't staying cold while I was running all of my errands. So now what I'm doing instead is filling this up before I leave the house from my gallon and this water stays cold cold pre-workout, during my workout, after my workout, and it's just a good way for me to get in at least 24 ounces of water while I'm out and about and cold water, which is the kind of water that I prefer. So I love this. Again, I think this one was $39.99 and I believe the tumblers are $29.99. I will link both of these products and the Brewmates website down below for you. And my other home favorite is this set of knives. I know, as weird as that is, these are the Cuisinart knives and I just want to point out how absolutely stunning these knives are. My kitchen is gray and white, so these fit the aesthetic perfectly. It has the nice gray base with the Cuisinart label, an entire set of knives, steak knives, scissors, and a sharpener. These were really affordable. I picked these up off of Amazon. They had several color combinations, but of course I went with the gray and the white. These knives are extremely high quality. I was finding that my cheaper knives got dull really quickly and they started to rust really quickly. These have excellent reviews. I, again, I bought these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. But if you're in the market for a high quality, a but affordable knife set, pick up these Cuisinart ones. We love these. And now let's jump into our final category of favorites and this is makeup, which of course makes me happy. Makeup and skincare. So we're going to start with these super fun, colorful gel liners from ColourPop. I've recently really gotten into gel liners. I like to actually put these on my lower waterline. Today I have a really pretty gold color on my waterline and gel liners just make it so easy. You can use these as actual eyeliners as well. A lot of times I'll put this under my lower lash and smudge it out because it's gel it smudges out really easy so of course I'm obsessed with these now so I went onto the ColourPop website and ordered probably like 10 different kinds but I've been using these every single day I just match my liner color with my eye look so again today I have that pretty gold from ColourPop under on my lower lash line I love these they're so cheap 
They're super affordable. I think they're like $4 a piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link the ColourPop website down below, and then I'll put a link to the gel liner so that you can look through the colors. But I love these. I'm so glad that I discovered these. And again, I've been using them every day. Next up is this Tarte Creaseless Concealer. As I've gotten older, I'm starting to get the fine lines under my eyes. And a lot of times when I use concealers, even hydrating concealers like the Tarte Shape Tape or the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, it makes my under eyes look dry and crepey. So I was looking for a concealer that was a little bit thicker and mattifying and creaseless. So this Tarte creaseless concealer has been a game changer for me. It does not settle into my fine lines. It does not make my under eye look crepey. I am utterly impressed. And although it's Tarte, it's still an affordable concealer. And we know that concealer lasts forever. I actually picked up two of these because I do not want this to go away somehow and me not be able to get my hands on this because this is one of the only concealers that I have found that works with my mature under eyes. The next product are these blush sticks from ColourPop. If you follow me on my beauty channel, you know that I am obsessed with cream blush and I have been on the hunt to find the perfect cream blush. I actually did a battle of the blush video where I shared nine different cream blushes and ranked them from the worst to the best. Well, since that video, I discovered these blush sticks from ColourPop. This is a fairly new product to their line, and these are basically cream blush sticks. So I love this kind of mauve -y color, and I think this is going to be perfect for the fall and winter. And then this one, I love this just more pink colored blush stick but these are such a great formula. So how I put these on is I'm actually wearing this one on my cheeks today is I use a Kabuki brush and I pick up the product directly from the stick and then tap it onto my face. I don't rub the stick on my face because I don't know if it will pick up my foundation, my bronzer underneath. So just to be safe, I pick it up off of the stick or package with my Kabuki brush and then press it into my skin. I love these. The formula is great and these are so so affordable. I had purchased the Beauty Counter blush stick and these are a million times better in about a quarter of the price. So again, off of the ColourPop website, a new launch for them. If you are into cream blush or wanna be in cream blush, love these. A new product from e.l.f. are their putty bronzers. So here is what their bronzers look like. So this is another product in their putty line. I love their putty blush their putty primer, and this bronzer is fantastic. If you like cream products or you want a more natural bronzer, highly recommend this one. Today I'm actually wearing a powder bronzer, but for no makeup makeup days, or if I just wanna sun kiss my skin a little bit, make it look a little more natural, these putty blushes are fantastic. They have so many shades. I ended up going with the darker shade just be so I could use it as contour or bronzer. They're $6. So check them out. Next up is the Patrick Ta for brows. Now I actually got this in a Sephora favorites bag. So this is the Patrick Ta brow wax, basically for soap brows. Now I never got on the soap brow trend because I have wild and crazy eyebrows and I like to add a little bit of color to fill in my brows, whether it be a pencil or it be a mascara. So I've been loving the flower, flower Beauty Fiber Mascara. I shared that in last month's favorites. I'll link that one down below for you. But I've gone on the soap brow trend. So what I'm doing is using this prior to putting in some color or some brow mascara. And this just really holds my brows in place all day long. So if you love the natural fluffy brow look, this is one of the best products for that. And for me, it does such a great job of just holding my brows in place. So again, this is the Patrick Ta for brow. Next up is a skincare product that I've literally been obsessed with. This is the Summer Friday CCME Serum. Now I received this in a subscription box. I love this. I have seen visible differences with my skin with this product alone. It adds hydration, it plumps my skin, it fills in my fine lines so they're less visible. This product is amazing. I again got it in a subscription box. I will be repurchasing this. This is one skincare product that I have seen immediate noticeable differences. So if you struggle with dry skin, fine lines and wrinkles, if you want just that little bit of plumpness, hydration, and just fresh looking, young looking skin, this product is well, well worth it. I can't wait to have this in my life 
moving forward. And last but not least, we always round out our favorites with my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. We are doing all ColourPop today. So this is the ColourPop Lemon Cello palette. Now this one came out a while ago and I didn't pick it up. And I've been looking at it, putting it in my Ulta cart, taking it out of my Ulta cart. When I went onto ColourPop's website to buy these blushes and the liners, I decided to bite the bullet and pick up the palette. At that time, all the palettes on ColourPop were 30% off, so I think I bought like four or five, including the palette that I have on my eyes today. This is the ColourPop Lyric, and this is just a five pan palette. I'll link this one down below for you too. But I decided to pick up the Lemoncello palette. Look at this palette. This is just so incredible incredibly gorgeous. It is neutral. It has colors and this blue shade right here, I'm obsessed with that for my lower lash line. The shimmers in here, especially this yellowy green color right here is absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch this for you. That is one swipe in. Look at that. Just everything about this palette is my dream come true. I love this. I've been using it like crazy. It's super affordable because it's ColourPop. I will link it on both Ulta and ColourPop in the description box. But if you want a neutral but a fun palette, pick this one up. So those are my July favorites. We had WW Foods, we had Home, we had Beauty, we had a little bit of everything. And all of these products I have been loving this last month. So if you enjoyed this favorites video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single upload. Check out the description box down below for all of the products that can't be picked up at your local grocery store. They will be linked down in the description box for you along with nutrition coaching, links to my other favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Definitely head over and join us there. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which of these items was your favorite from my favorites, and I'll see you all in the next one.